Okay, it is three o'clock in the afternoon. Today is Monday, October 9th. Thank you so much for joining today's section. This is the last section of your module three intermediate one. So we're going to start the class today with the, this is section number five. And uh, the topic as you can see here is, I come from a big family. So to start with, we have some vocabulary in the word power section about family. So what do we have here? Let me make this a little bit bigger. And there we go. Okay, this is the vocabulary that we have. Cousin, daughter, father, grandmother, niece, sister-in-law, uncle, wife. This is the vocabulary that we should place here. We're corresponding. We have here grandfather and Uh -huh. Exactly, grandmother. Let us write it down. Grandmother. No space. Grandmother. Let's continue here with our family tree. We have and mother. What is missing here? Of course, a father, good. Now let's continue here with Donna and Manuel. Let's see the family tree according to this, this is on and. Uncle, very good. Welcome Christian. And then we have here some is his husband and his. Wife, correct. And then we have brother and. Let's see. Son and daughter. Niece and nephew. Put it down here. Son and daughter. We are missing two words. Yes, sister in law. And then Teresa would be the cousin. And so we have completed the family tree vocabulary. What we have next is a listening. How are they related? What is particular about these pictures? They are famous people. Now we're going to listen to four conversation about famous people. How is the second person related to the first person? Are you ready, Wilfredo? Ready, Christian? Well, I guess that today you're going to be just listening. 
not a problem. I'm going to play the recording twice and then we're going to check the answers. Big family. Page 31, exercise 2. Listening. How are they related? Listen to four conversations about famous people. How is the second person related to the first person? 1. Who are you listening to, Adam? Oh, it's Coldplay. They're my favorite band. Chris Martin has a cool voice. Yeah, they're pretty good. Do you know who his wife is? His wife? No. The actress, Gwyneth Paltrow. They make an interesting couple. Two. What are you reading, Pete? An article about Francis Ford Coppola. He has a new movie out. Who? Francis Ford Coppola. You know, the director of The Godfather and The Godfather Part Two. Oh, right. Do you know who his nephew is? The actor Nicolas Cage. Really? Three. Are you downloading a song, Cindy? Oh, hi, Mom. Yeah, I am. It's the new Miley Cyrus song. Miley Cyrus? Is she related to Billy Ray Cyrus? I have no idea. Who's he? He's a country singer and an actor. Here, let's look it up. Yes! Billy Ray is her father. Four. So, what movie do we want to watch? Oh, here's one with Casey Affleck. Oh, I like him. He's really good in dramas. I like his sister-in-law, too. Who's that? Jennifer Garner, the actress. Oh, right. She's married to Ben Affleck, Casey's brother. Welcome, Guillermo and Pedro. We are uh, completing the listening part here. We're going to listen twice, um, the, to this listening. And you have to complete the information about how they're they related. We are studying the family vocabulary. Thank you. Uh -huh. So let's poner que son, eh, por ejemplo, sus brother, sister, etc. Podemos volver a, a escuchar el, 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 el audio. Yeah, of course. Lo voy a poner dos Por veces favor. más. Ajá. Porque ahorita ya pues completé el, el, el family tree. So es vocabulary, like husband, wife, brother, sister, cousin, grandmother, grandfather, father, mother, etc. So it's just listening and I say, uh, how are they related? So if you want, you can write number one, two, three, and four, and see if they are um, brothers, father, sister, wife, etc. I'm going to play the recording twice. Okay. Unit five. I come from a big family. Page 31, exercise two, listening. How are they related? Listen to four conversations about famous people. How is the second person related to the first person? One. Who are you listening to, Adam? Oh, it's Coldplay. They're my favorite band. Chris Martin has a cool voice. Yeah, they're pretty good. Do you know who his wife is? His wife? No. The actress, Gwyneth Paltrow. They make an interesting couple. Two. What are you reading, Pete? An article about Francis Ford Coppola. He has a new movie out. Who? Francis Ford Coppola. 
You know, the director of The Godfather and The Godfather Part Two. Oh, right. Do you know who his nephew is? The actor Nicolas Cage. Really? Three. Are you downloading a song, Cindy? Oh, hi, Mom. Yeah, I am. It's the new Miley Cyrus song. Miley Cyrus? Is she related to Billy Ray Cyrus? I have no idea. Who's he? He's a country singer and an actor. Here, let's look it up. Yes, Billy Ray is her father. Four. So, what movie do we want to watch? Oh, here's one with Casey Affleck. Oh, I like him. He's really good in dramas. I like his sister-in-law too. Who's that? Jennifer Garner, the actress. Oh, right. She's married to Ben Affleck, Casey's brother. Unit five. I come from a big family. Page thirty-one, exercise two. Listening. How are they related? Listen to four conversations about famous people. How is the second person related to the first person? One. Who are you listening to, Adam? Oh, it's Coldplay. They're my favorite band. Chris Martin has a cool voice. Yeah, they're pretty good. Do you know who his wife is? His wife? No. The actress Gwyneth Paltrow. They make an interesting couple. Two. What are you reading, Pete? An article about Francis Ford Coppola. He has a new movie out. Who? Francis Ford Coppola. You know, the director of The Godfather and The Godfather Part Two. Oh, right. Do you know who his nephew is? The actor Nicolas Cage. Really? Three. Are you downloading a song, Cindy? Oh, hi, Mom. Yeah, I am. It's the new Miley Cyrus song. Miley Cyrus, is she related to Billy Ray Cyrus? I have no idea. Who's he? He's a country singer and an actor. Here, let's look it up. Yes, Billy Ray is her father. Four. So, what movie do we want to watch? Oh, here's one with Casey Affleck. Oh, I like him. He's really good in dramas. I like his sister-in-law too. Who's that? Jennifer Garner, the actress. Oh, right. She's married to Ben Affleck, Casey's brother. Did you get the information, or you want to listen one more time? Let's check the number one. What do you have? How are they related? His wife. Number one, it's a wife. Number two, what do you have? Grandfather. Matthew. The number three? Father. Father. Yes, yeah, so number three is the father. And number four? Sister. In law. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you were really close. Very yeah. good job with the listening. Yeah. Yeah. We continue talking about families, and in this case, well, it's a conversation asking about family. Um, mm -hmm. Two people here, two different scenarios. Oh, well, so let's listen, and then you tell me if there is a new word or maybe um, difficult to pronounce word, and we will practice. Page 31, exercise 3, conversation. Asking about families. Part A, listen and practice. Tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Well, my sister works for the government. Oh, what does she do? I'm not sure. 
She's working on a very secret project right now. Wow. And what about your brother? He's a wildlife photographer. What an interesting family. Can I meet them? Sure, but not now. My sister's away. She's not working in the United States this month. And your brother? He's traveling in the Amazon. Questions about vocabulary? Traveling. Esa última, la última palabra de he's traveling. Traveling. Esa, uh -huh. Yeah, he's traveling the Amazon. Uh -huh. So traveling, the question is the meaning of the word traveling. Traveling. Ah, no. Es que no, no, no estaba seguro cómo se pronunciaba. Traveling. Yes, traveling. Traveling. Okay. Okay. Any other question? Okay, so I'm going to play the recording once again and I'm going to stop it so that you can repeat at home and then we're going to role play. Page 31, exercise 3, conversation. Asking about families. Part A, listen and practice. Tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Well, my sister works for the government. Oh, what does she do? I'm not sure. She's working on a very secret project right now. Wow. And what about your brother? He's a wildlife photographer. What an interesting family. Can I meet them? Sure, but not now. My sister's away. She's not working in the United States this month. And your brother? He's traveling in the Amazon. Okay, would you like to role play the conversation, Guillermo and Pedro? Okay. Okay, you can start, Guillermo. Uh, Rita. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Are listo, Pedro? Ready, Pedro? Sorry, I'm ready. Okay. Tell me about your brothers and sisters, Sue. Well, my sister works for government. Oh, what do she do? 
I'm not sure. She's working on very secret project right now. Wow. And what about your brothers? He's a wildlife photographer. What an interesting family. Can I meet them? Sure, but not now. My sister away. She's not working in the United States this month. And you, brothers? He's traveling in the Amazon. Ready, Pedro? Ready? Yes, start. You start Tell now. Tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Guillermo. What what me sister work for the government? Government. My sister. You repeat at my that sister point. My sister work for the government. Oh, what does she do? I'm not sure. Chairs, she's working on a very secret project in Rich No. Right now. Right now. Wow. And what about your brother? He's a Wilfred the White Life. She's White Life uh, Photography. Photographer. Photography. What interesting family. Can I meet them? Sure. But no, no. My sister, a wife, she's now working in the in United States this morning. morning. And your brother? He's traveling in the Amazon. Okay, thank you. Okay, very well done. Thank you so much, Pedro and Guillermo, for your participation. Now, let us do li listening part B. Uh, we're going to listen to the rest of the conversation, and we have to respond to this question. Where do Rita's parents live, and what do they do? Listen and tell me, where do Rita's parents live, and what do they do? Page 31, Exercise 3, Part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. Where do Rita's parents live? What do they do? So, what about your parents, Rita? Where do they live? They live in Texas. Oh, where in Texas? In Austin. It's a small city, but it's very nice. Are they still working? Oh, yes. My mother is teaching at a university there, and my father is a carpenter. Page 31, Exercise 3, Part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. Where do Rita's parents live? What do they do? So, what about your parents, Rita? Where do they live? They live in Texas. Oh, where in Texas? In Austin. It's a small city, but it's very nice. Are they still working? Oh, yes. My mother is teaching at a university there, and my father is a carpenter. Según le entiendo, okay. viven en Texas. Uh -huh. Y que la, que la mamá es eh, maestra de, de, de la universidad. Correcto. Y que el papá es carpintero. Excellent. Yes. Sí. <laughs> ok. Yes. You, you, you can do it. Uh, you need to make sure of yourself. Tienen que estar más seguro. Claro que sí entiende y sí puede. 
Y ya ve que contestó bien, agarró la información. So nice, very nice. Okay, and let me do an insert to see in the guide. Yes, we have this two exercise. And then we have this pronunciation exercise as we're going to be working with the uh, um, yes, no questions, some uh, with the per P, WH questions with the present continuous. This is what we'll be working on today. So let me do a new share. Okay, we completed this part and now intonation in statements let's see the intonation in this kind of a statement tends to be like a uh, falling intonation eh, si vamos a escuchar para que vean que en la, la entonación en las oraciones eh, es como para hacia abajo la última parte de la oración la pronunciación es como que baja como que fuera para abajo vamos a escuchar para que lo puedan notar un poco más grande acá Page 31, Exercise 4, Pronunciation Intonation in Statements Part A. Listen and Practice Notice that statements usually have falling intonation. He's traveling in the Amazon. He's traveling in the Amazon. Like, yeah. Next. He's traveling in the Amazon. He's working on a very secret project. She's working on a very secret project. She's working on a very secret project. Okay, listen one more time. You can repeat at home. Page 31, Exercise 4, Pronunciation, Intonation in Statements. Part A, Listen and Practice. Notice that statements usually have falling intonation. He's traveling in the Amazon. 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 She's working on a very secret project. She's working on a very secret project. On a very secret project. Mm -hmm. on a very secret project. Good. Now, it's for you to note that most of the sentence had like falling intonation at the end. So that's not uh, like very much to do here. And then the present continuous, uh, as you remember, es, esto es como un repaso rápido, es un tema que ustedes ya conocen, el present continuous, es para hablar de cosas que están, eh, mayormente se utiliza para cosas que están sucediendo en el momento, ¿verdad? Eh, también tiene otros usos, como para un futuro cercano, eh, pero lo más común es para... Eh, utilizarlo para hablar de cosas que están sucediendo en el momento. So let's listen to the grammar focus and then I'll explain a little bit more about this topic. Page 32, exercise 5, grammar focus, present continuous. Are you living at home now? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Is your sister working for the government? Yes, she is. No, she's not. No, she isn't. Are Ed and Jill taking classes this year? Yes, they are. No, they're not. No, they aren't. Where are you working now? I'm not working. I need a job. What is your brother doing? He's traveling in the Amazon. What are your friends doing these days? They're studying for their exams. Bien, ya escuchamos aquí el grammar focus del present continuous y esto acá tienen un cuadrito como para recordar cuál es la estructura. Decimos que es eh, 
a present continuous tense is a verb form that a sentence that tells about ongoing actions, events, or something that has happened around us. Es para decir, hablar de cosas que están sucediendo eh, en el momento o pues eh, en esos días, ¿verdad? Eh, la oración afirmativa, para esto se utiliza primero sujeto, luego una forma del verbo to be, llámese am, is, are, dependiendo del sujeto, ¿verdad? Eh, luego el verbo principal, al cual le agregamos ing, y luego un complemento. Aquí tenemos un ejemplo de oración afirmativa. You are dancing on the stage. It's the subject is you. Para el sujeto you utilizamos are. Luego el verbo dance con el cual agregamos ing, dancing. Y el complemento on the stage. Para hacer las negativas es básicamente la misma estructura. Solamente que agregamos not después de am, is, are. You are not dancing on the stage. Y ahí pueden ver cómo se, se sigue la, la, la estructura, pues básicamente siendo la misma, solo que se agrega not después de am, is, or are para hacer la oración en negativa. Luego, las yes, no questions, como las que estábamos viendo, uh, escuchando en el Grammar Focus, eh, para comenzar con ellas, pues se eh, escribe am, is, or are al inicio. Luego el sujeto, luego el verbo principal con ing y luego el complemento y al final el signo de pregunta. Por ejemplo, are you dancing on the stage? Ese sería el ejemplo de pregunta y pueden ver ahí are al principio. El sujeto va luego, eh, luego el verbo con ing y luego el complemento, al final el signo de pregunta. Con esto de agregar ing al verbo, hay ciertas reglas que seguir. Present continuous spelling rules. Eh, words with one syllable. Eso es lo que tenemos acá con, para eh, discutir el spelling. Tenemos que los verbos que terminan en e, antes de agregar el ing, tenemos que eliminar la e, ¿verdad? Verbs that end in e. For example, make and write. So we omit the letter E and add ING. Make, pueden ver ahí el cambio con make. Es un ejemplo de los que terminan con E. Ya al hacerlo gerundio, eh, quitamos la E y agregamos ING, making. Otro ejemplo, write, writing. Drive, driving. La siguiente regla nos dice, sometimes a word ends in a vowel plus consonant, for example, get, run, swim. Before adding ing, the consonant at the end is doubled. Entonces, cuando tenemos eh, verbos de una sílaba que tienen eh, una consonante, vocal, consonante, y tienen estrés, tienen que cumplir esas condiciones para poder duplicarle la última consonante, por ejemplo, tenemos ahí get. Vemos que al pronunciar get, hay una fuerza, get, run, swim. So, suenan como que tuvieran un Boom. tipo de, de acento. Ajá. Entonces, eh, get, run, swim. Entonces, y tienen ese patrón que son de una sílaba y tienen este, una consonante, una vocal y una consonante. Entonces, al final, duplicamos la última consonante. En el caso de get, la última consonante es T. Entonces, antes de agregar ING, ponemos una T adicional, getting. Lo mismo sucede acá con run, running, swim, swimming. ¿En qué caso no vamos a duplicar? Decimos help. No lo vamos help. a duplicar porque termina en dos consonantes, L y P. Si sí, decimos, si sí, es de una sílaba, si sí, lleva stress, help, talk, work. Son verbos que llevan fuerza de voz, pero mmm, en este caso, si terminan en dos consonantes, no duplicamos. Solo agregamos ING, como ven ahí, help, helping, talk, talking, work, working. Tampoco si lleva dos vocales juntas, like this, look, read speak. 
hay dos vocales juntas, entonces no vamos a duplicar. Tampoco vamos a duplicar la consonante si, eh, si se nos da el caso de que la última, eh, la última letra sea W, X o Y. En esos casos tampoco se duplica, solo se agrega ING. Vamos a ver cómo nos va acá eh, con el Interactive Quiz. En, en el examen, en uno de los, de los exámenes de la plataforma, ahí tuve, me di duro con dos preguntas, se me había olvidado que, que cuando es, es como tipo pregunta, primero va el, el, el ¿cómo se llama? El, Verbo be, am, is, or. Ajá, ajá, el cero de estar, ajá, acabar. Pero ahí Pedrito me, me echó la mano. Me tocó que irlo a buscar hasta el área donde él estaba y... Okay. Digo, ahí, dame, <ríe> Qué, qué bueno que se tienen por ahí cerca, ¿verdad? Que están a la mano como para ayudarse. Es como bueno de... cerca, sí, sí. Cerrados cuando son de la misma empresa. Esa es una de las que tienen que... Ahí los compañeros pues, están inmediatos para poder ayudarles. That's good. Bueno. Entonces, en el... Eh, tenemos acá un como quiz interactivo para que puedan practicar los, eh, lo que acabamos de ver de las spelling rules. Solo hacemos clic acá. Y esto me da problemas. Sí, sale. Ok. Y el quiz interactivo está como este es. Ok, uh, esta es la versión interactiva del quiz. So you tell me, there is this interactive quiz and we have the sentence, I am watching TV and my brother, and it says a book. So what is the correct option? Let's say that this is number one, this is number two, and this is number three. Mm. Which number? One, two, or three? Two. Two. Number two. Is yes, right. number two. Number two is correct, as you can see here. Que ya dijimos que siempre va a ir el verbo be, am, is, are, y luego el mm -hmm. verbo principal con ing, en este caso reading. I am watching TV and my brother is reading a book. Now let's see the number two. Number one. Are planning. Thomas and Patrick are playing in the yard now. Good. Number one. Number one. That is correct. Excellent. What are you doing? I'm watching. Okay. Number three. Excellent. They aren't eating their food right now because their food is too hot. Uh, number two. Mm -hmm. Yes, I am. Are you okay. studying English now? Yes, I am. Good, Guillermo. Let's continue. Oh. What is the correct question word? 
Number one. Number one. Very good, Pedro. What are you doing? I'm taking a test. I do two French notes the question. Uh, number three. Yes. Yes, correct, Pedro and Guillermo. That number three is correct. I can't talk to you right now because I am studying. He usually goes for a walk at this, at this time. Es un pero, hay algo contradictorio. Dice que usualmente va a caminar a esa hora, pero. Isn't going. Isn't now. going. Uh -huh. Isn't going, going for a walk for now. What? No. Ajá, es la like, contradiciendo eso normalmente o usualmente él va a caminar a esta hora, pero él no está yendo a caminar hoy. Tal vez se puso interesante algo ahí en la tele. A series, a soccer match, we don't know. <laughs> sí, it's very nice upstairs. No, no. Okay, okay, three. Are you sure it's number three? Number one. Are they doing number one? What are they doing? Uh huh. That's correct. Number number one. Yes, that is correct. Are they working now? No, they aren't. Mm -hmm. Number one. Number one. Porque ya va. I am mm -hmm. not marking. I am <laughs> not making dinner because we ordered pizza a few minutes ago. Good. Number two. Number two, is he sleeping? Yes, is he sleeping right now? Yes, he is. That is correct. Thank you so much. Let's continue. Number one, is third by the chair. Number, number three. Who? Number three? Mm. Mm. No, because number one. 
people are waiting. ¿Qué decís, Pedrito? Who we are waiting? We are waiting tiene como forma de oración. We are waiting. Para pregunta tiene ah, que ir. Sí. Ah, sí, el pues, number two. Are we waiting? Ajá, who? Sí, es pregunta, sí, primero tiene que ir. Uh -huh. Yes, when it's question, remember, cuando es pregunta tiene el orden como que eh, se invierte. Uh -huh. Okay, next. Number three. Three, correct. Who is driving the car? Quien? La respuesta, ¿verdad? Dice David is driving the car. Your two friends. Number three. Number three. Ears. Okay. Very nice job. So that was the interactive place for us to uh, remember and review the present continuous. And then we need to complete these uh, two conversations using the, our knowledge about the present continuous. Es similar lo que ya estuvimos haciendo con el, el examen, nada más que ese pues era multiple choice. Aquí no tenemos las opciones, o tenemos que pensar, eh, leer acá e ir completando. Uh, it is a uh, phone conversation in number one. And he said, hi, Stephanie, what you, y tenemos el verbo to. Es una pregunta. Entonces, ¿qué me falta poner ahí? Maybe, what are you doing? Excellent. What are you Excellent. What are you doing? Um, study. Mm -hmm. I am starting, starting. Mm -hmm. I'm standing in an elevator. It's stuck. Mm -hmm. Oh no, are you okay? It's moving now. Excellent. It is moving now. Mm -hmm. What happened? Okay, conversation number two. Mm -hmm. Sí. No, 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 sí, no, sí. Okay, Marcy, how you enjoy your shopping trip?
How? Es una pregunta, luego seguiría que. Are. Ajá, uh -huh. how are you, you and Justin? Y tenemos el verbo enjoy. We are enjoying. 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 Mm. That is correct. How are you and Justin enjoying your shopping trip? We are having a lot of fun. You're having a lot of fun. Very good. You're having a lot of fun. R. R. Mm, your brother. Sayer, Sayer. Uh -huh. The subject is your brother, tu hermano, tu hermano. Tu hermano. It's your brother. It's your brother. Ajá, uh -huh. se refiere a él, al hermano. Your brother. It's your brother. Spending. Yes, spending. Is your mother spending a lot of money? No, mom. Is buying. Is buying. Only one or yes. two things. Is buying. Only one or two things, that's all. That's all. Okay, uh, would you like to replay the conversations? And Guillermo and Pedro. Okay. You start, Guillermo. Sí, sí, aquí estoy. ¿Quieres comienzo? Yeah. Stephanie. 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 Así se dice esa palabra. Stephanie? Hi, Stephanie. Stephanie. What are ah, you okay. doing? Hi, Stephanie. What are you doing? Hey, Mar. I'm standing in an elevator and oh, no. stop. Oh, no. Are you up? Yeah. I way is moving now. Thanks, goodness. Good. Now let's continue with that conversation too. Okay. Uh, Nancy, Nancy, what are what are you and Justin and going your shopping trip trip? We are having a lot of fun. Is your brother spending a lot of money? No, money, money. no, no, mom. He's buying only one or two things. That's all. Okay, okay. very good. Thank you so much. So, um, well, uh, this exercise is like um, asking and answering questions using is anyone and discuss about these topics. For example, traveling, living abroad, taking classes, going to high school or college, moving to a new home, studying a foreign language. And we have a sample here. Is anyone in your family traveling right now? And you may, may respond, yes, my dad is. He's in South Korea. And then follow up question, what's doing there? So let's begin. Like for example, I could ask um, uh, Pedro, is anyone in your family going to high school or college? Right now? No. <laughs> um, 
Nobody Not for the is. moment. Not for the no. moment. Mm -hmm. Hey, can you ask a question to Guillermo? Guillermo. Sí. Eh, no, no le he comprendido muy bien, maestra. Perdón. Ah, tenemos que hacer preguntas usando is anyone in your family? Preguntar, ¿hay alguien en tu familia viajando, por ejemplo, uh, en este momento, right now? Is anyone in mm. your family traveling right now? Y a usted responde de acuerdo. Eh, por ejemplo, si alguien estuviera viajando de su familia en estos momentos, te dijera, um, yes, my mom is traveling to Los Angeles. Mm, uh, okay. Oh, no? No, there isn't anyone traveling right now. Okay. Now ready for a question? Um, sure. Y esos son los temas de los que podemos preguntar, los que están en aquí con rojo. I traveling, am. living abroad, taking a class, going to high school or college, or moving to a new home. Starting a foreign language. Okay. Puede hacerle Pedro okay. una pregunta. Sí, sí. Démosle. Vamos mm -hmm. a ver. Mm -hmm. But is anyone in your family moving to the new home? Uh, yes. Uh, watch. Uh, Family was a movie. ¿Cómo se llama esta? Movie. Eh, oh, ¿Cómo se llama? ¿Cómo se llama la película que estaban viendo? Uh, la tengo, pregunta tengo. es. Ajá, la pregunta era si alguien en su familia está mudándose hacia alguna nueva casa. Yo le entendí que se está viendo alguna película. <risa> a movie, uh, se parece. Pero aquí está moving sí. to a new home. Is uh -huh. anyone in your family moving to a new home? Uh, no. 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 Okay. Can you ask a question to Pedro? Okay. Vamos a ver. Eh, is going. Eh, is anyone? Is any is an, ¿Cómo se dice la palabra? And you, anyone. Is anyone going to him a shoe or college? Um, esa ya se la pregunté yo. <laughs> ah, vaya, voy, voy, voy a hacer la otra entonces. Uh -huh. Is I want uh, a student and foreign language? Ling Así se dice la palabra, lengua, lengua, language. 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 Uh -huh. No, I don't. No, I don't have anyone. Okay. Last question, Pedro. Oh. What was he doing there? Hmm. Repeat, Pedro. What uh, el, uh, literal say? What's uh -huh. he doing? There? Uh, okay. What are you doing there? Uh, okay. A student English. Ah, okay. he's studying English. Okay. Very well yes. done. Nice. Now, uh, while well, we have this, um, uh, this activity is to be done in groups, so, uh, it's preguntar estas eh, que tenemos aquí do you have any brothers or sister how many brothers do you have 
how many sisters do you have? Hey, but yeah. Um, Las vamos a, a practicar, nada más para practicar pronunciación. Pueden repetir y luego, pues, si hay alguna um, palabra nueva, ya, yeah, we can discuss it. Um, and let's begin. Do um, you have any brothers or sisters? Yes, I have. I have two brothers, two sisters. And two sisters. Okay, Guillermo, what about you? Do you have any brothers or sisters? Yes. Me pregunta si tengo hermano y hermana, ¿verdad? Yes. And yes. you say yes. Um, okay. How many yes. brothers do you have? How many brothers do you have? One, two, three? Uh, uh, three. Three, three brothers. brothers. Okay, three. and how many sisters? Uh, two, two sisters. Two sisters, okay. Three, three. Okay. Uh, uh, Pedro, are any of your brothers or sisters living abroad? Yes. Okay, so you say yes. What about you, Guillermo? Are any of your brothers or your sisters living abroad? Uh, no. They are all in El Salvador. Todos están en El Salvador, ninguno está en el extranjero, en otro país. Eh, bien. Eh, ok. Brad significa en el extranjero. Are any of your brothers or sisters living abroad? Sister uh, living abroad in, in Nueva York. Ok. Esto no es todo, está en el Diota Tipineo. Do you live with your grandparents? Grandfather, eh, eh, ¿cómo se dice cuando ya falleció? Do you live with your grandparents? ¿Usted vive con sus abuelos? Do you ah, live with no. your grandparents? No. No, no I am not. Uh -huh. Live a uh, family. With oh, you family. live with your own family. Okay. okay. Um, is your grandmother or grandfather still working, Pedro? Is your grandmother or grandfather still working? No. No, they aren't. No, they aren't. Okay, what about you, Guillermo? Is your grandmother or grandfather still working? Uh, no. Eh, no, they aren't. No, en, bueno, no sé cómo decir pasan, pero en, en houses, en houses. They are retired. No, no work, no job. Okay. Um, does anyone in your family have an unusual job, Pedro? No. What about you, Guillermo? Does anyone in your family have an unusual job? Uh, no, uh, my my wife is uh, working in in my town. No sé cómo decirle en mi en my work. Como que trabaja donde yo trabajo. Ah, mi they esposa. work in. Uh -huh. So your coworkers, you work in the same company. Uh -huh. Okay, mm -hmm. that's good. Okay, now what is typical in family? It say, um, let's start reading here in Germany. As you see here, uh, what's typical? In Germany, the average age to get married is 31 for men and 28 for women. In the United Arab Emirates, 
of the population live in urban areas. In South Korea, 9% of couples have children. In Japan, 65% of the elderly population live with their children. In Australia, 13% of households have more than five people. In Portugal, 70% of mothers work outside the home. In Mexico, 93% of households have TV set. In Canada, 45% of husbands and wives share the housework. In Ireland, percent of other population own their own house. Well, our own home. Is there any question about the vocabulary or pronunciation? Any fact that surprise you? So there is no questions here for you. No question. Is that typical? Let's listen and practice this conversation. Let me do a new shirt. Page 33, exercise 9, conversation. Is that typical? Part A, listen and practice. How many brothers and sisters do you have, Meili? Actually, I'm an only child. Really? Yeah, a lot of families in China have only one child these days. I didn't know that. What about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow. Is that typical in Peru? I'm not sure. Many families are smaller these days, but big families are great because you get a lot of birthday presents. Okay, that was the conversation. Is there any question on your end? All right, I will play the recording once again and I will stop it for you to repeat. Yeah. Page 33, exercise 9, conversation. Is that typical? Part A, listen and practice. How many brothers and sisters do you have, Meili? How many brothers and sisters do you have, Meili? Actually, I'm an only child. I only child. I'm I only child. I am an only child. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. A lot of families in China have only one child these days. Yeah, a lot of family in China, China have only one child. Child die. 
Let's review China. 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 I, I know of family is China. Have only one children. Child. 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 I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Yes. What about you, Marcos? What about you, Marcos? What are... Come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. You welcome me. Wow. <laughs> Is that typical in Peru? Um, wow. Is that a typical is Peru? I'm not okay. sure. Many families are smaller these days, but big families are great because you get a lot of birthday presents. I'm not sure. Many family are smaller this day, but this family are great because you hit a lot of very day present. Okay, do you want to practice it one more time or you want to role play it? Ready to role play? Ready. Okay, let's start, Pedro. You're Marcos and then Guillermo, you continue with Meili. Okay. How many brothers and sisters do you have, Guillermo? Actually, I'm a only child. Really? Yeah. A lot of family in China have only one child this day. I didn't know that. Well, how do you mark up? I come from a big family. I have a three brother and two sister. Wow. Is that topic typical in Peru? I'm not sure. Many families are smaller these days, but we families are great because you get a lot of weird depressions. Okay. Okay, let's review a couple of words. Um, Guillermo, um. Um, um. Child. Um, uh, child. Child. Oh. Child. 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 Mm -hmm. Now let's child. change. You start now, Guillermo. Go up. Whoa. Uh -huh. Okay. How about how many brothers? Start, Guillermo. How many brothers and sisters do you have, Pedro? Uh, actually. I only child. Really? Yeah. A lot of families in China have only one child this day. I do not talk. What about you, Mark uh, Guillermo? Uh, I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow, it's typical in Peru. I am not sure. Many family are small this day. But the family are great because you hit a lot of birthday present. Mm -hmm. Birthday. I'm a birthday. 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 Uh huh. This as this this this, this day. Mm -hmm. this, this day. Yes, this day. This day. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, an email about your family. We have this writing exercise. 
And we need to write a short email about your family. For example, we have a uh, dear young June. Thanks for your email. Now, let me tell you about my family. My parents are coffee farmers. Most families here are small. I have one older sister, but I don't have a brother. My sister name is, and you continue writing your email. Imagine that your email is for an EPUB. EPUB es como un amigo que, con el cual se comunica nada más por internet. Pues un amigo en el extranjero con el cual pues nada más se pueden comunicar eh, vía email puede ser, o chateando, texteando, eh, a eso se le llama EPAL. So, el ejercicio es como escribir un correo a su EPAL about your family. Y ahí tienen un pequeño ejemplo. Luego vamos a leer el, el, el pequeño correo cuando ya hayan terminado. Les voy a dar tiempo. Eh, Pedro, su EPAL va a ser Guillermo, y Guillermo, su EPAL es Pedro. <ríe> So you write, dear Guillermo, in Guillermo said, dear Pedro. Pueden escribir un pequeño email similar a este, lo pueden hacer en su correo y luego lo vamos a leer. Uh, five minutes. Ok, ahorita comenzamos a escribirlo. Yes, you can start now. Ok.
Carlitos. Okay, let's share what you have. Um, who wants to start, Pedro or Guillermo? Who wants to start reading the emails? Me. Okay, thank you, Pedro. Comienzo leyendo el correo de allí o el mío? El, el, el suyo, el que le va a enviar a, a, a Guillermo. Uh, Bueno, bueno, eh, there, there, Guillermo, eh, thanks for your email. Now let me tell you about my family. My parents are coffee farmer. Most family here are small. I have an older sister, but I don't have brothers. My sister name is um, Reina Isabel. She has uh, two children, one son and one daughter. Uh, her son name is Steven. He is uh, seven year old and her daughter is a newborn. Her name is Diana. My sister lives in Santa Ana. I like to visit a lot. But, uh, but I can't visit to me because I always working. But I like to know what about you, Guillermo? Oh, your yeah, family, yeah. where they live? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, that. That's all. Thank you. Yeah. Very well done, Pedro. Guillermo, it's your turn. Yo, yo le escribí algo a Pedro, pero no, no le explico tanto así como es mi familia. ¿verdad? Oh, ok, no, no es problema. Que es un correo, ajá, algo así como, como que ya se me terminaron las vacaciones y me presento a trabajar y algo así. Bueno. Sí, comen, comenta de mi familia, pero, pero, pero poco. ¿verdad? Ok, vale. no es problema. Okay. ok. Hello, Pedro. Monroy, I show up for work and leave my daughter of child. 
my wife has gone at the summer and company. After the holidays, I have decided you I work and this your out well. A ver si me lo entiende. Oh, you finished. <laughs> sí. Okay, that was pretty short, but good. Si quiere, lo, you... lo vuelvo, si quiere lo vuelvo a leer. Okay. Vale, lo voy a leer un poco más despacio para que me, me comprendan un poquito. Okay, good. Dice. Eh, Hello, Pedro. Eh, Monroy, I show up for work and leave my dowry at child a school my wife also work at the same company after the holidays i have the same your at work and tape your are work okay thank you so much guillermo so you and your wife work in the same company right Yes. Nice. Papa, stop this Now, then with the next exercise, this is a reading about stay at home dad. We're going to listen to the recording. Uh, let me do a new share. I think we have the audio for this reading. Okay, this reading is about stay at home dads. So I think we have the audio, but we don't have it. Okay. Okay, we're going to start reading uh, Stay at Home Dad. Uh, let's read the title of the article and then check the questions you think the interview will ask. Why do men decide to stay at home with their children? What happened when both parents work? Families in the U.S. are changing. One important change is that many fathers are staying home with their children. They take care of the kids and their wives go to work. Modern Family Magazine asked three stay-at-home dads the question. Like being a stay-at-home dad, I volunteer to read uh, William's chance response. Um, do they say I have a great time? Yes. Mm -hmm. When I have a great time, when the kids are in school, I do housework. Our youngest child goes to school part-time. When I pick her up, I load the one on one side with her. Then when my two sons get home from school, we all play together. Why do I stay home? Well, I wasn't happy. I my yo. I was pretty stressful, in fact. Okay, thank you, Pedro. Um, would you like to read about Daniel Evans, Guillermo? Okay. Challenge. Okay. Here's a challenge. <clears throat> what have to do to children? To they young don't, children? They, your children, your children. And they don't go to school yet. I never have time for myself. 
what not anything, but my kids are growing up some faults. I really got to spend time with they with them. With the, with them. When with they them. are young. At your, also my wife loves her, her job. I dream most is staying at home and dies some the same tree. The same thing. Say the same thing. They the same thing. Ears hard, but ears working it. It's hard, but it's worth it. It's worth it. It's worth it. Uh huh. Okay. Good. Now, the last one is Roberto Garcia. He said, in my neighborhood, there aren't many dads in the park with their kids on weekends. Nearly all of their parents are moms. I had a stressful job before and I didn't have a lot of free time. I hated it. We have a daughter and now I'm spending more time with her. I love that I'm enjoying my freedom from work, but I'm also working very hard. Okay, now you have this reading. Um, let me. Okay, you have that reading in the class guide. Now, the thing is that you may want to read back again. Tal vez la quieran leer nuevamente para eh, chequear. Lo de abajo. Lo de abajo. Uh -huh. Read the interviews and check the correct names. Van a chequear who, por ejemplo, who has more than two children. Los tres tienen más de dos niños. William, Daniel o Roberto. Ahí chequean quiénes. Who has an only child who had a stressful career, who thinks it's hard to stay home, and who has a wife with a great job.
Have we finished? Is this exercise finished? Finish. Okay, finish. Okay, so according to the reading, who has more than two children? Uh, William. Yes, that is correct. Let me. This Number is... two, uh, Roberto. Uh, who has an only child? Roberto. Okay. Number three is as I'm stressing correct is William. And Roberto. Yes, who had a stressful career? Yeah, it's William and Roberto. Who oh, think it's hard? William, oh, my, okay. Mm -hmm. Y en la número cuatro, ahí también me equivoqué. Yo le puse Roberto, pero es Daniel. Daniel, okay. And what about the number five? Uh -huh. Y number five, eh, sí, acerté Daniel. Okay, so you just miss only one. You fail one. Oh, that's... That is good, very well done. Yeah, thank you so much for sharing. Now okay. let's continue with the guide here. And uh, well, we have which words are for male and which ones are for female. We're um, to complete this chart. So the words that we have is aunt, brother, and this is just like a review, remember? Aquí es donde empezamos la clase con el family member. So we mm -hmm. have vocabulary, aunt, brother, daughter, father, father husband, uncle. mother. ¿Cómo se pronuncia esa palabra? Perdón, la, la, antes de mother. Husband. 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 Okay. Mother. Nephew. Mother. Nephew. Niece. Niece. Niece, sister, sister son, son, uncle, uncle, wife, 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 wife. Now, um, ya tenemos una aunt as female, brother is male. What about daughter? That is female. Yes, that is correct. Daughter is for female. Mm -hmm. About father. Male. For male. Um, mm -hmm. Husband. Male. Male. Yes, male. A mother. Female. 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 Yes. Um, nephew. Women. No, males. Male, uh -huh. nephew es sobrino. sobrino. Nephew, uh -huh. sobrino, that is for male, nephew. Niece. Female. Female, uh -huh. es sobrina. So remember, nephew, sobrina, eh, perdón, nephew, sobrino. Niece. Niece. Sobrina. 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 Okay. Uh, sister. Female. 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 Yeah, son Male. is a uh, uncle. Male. Male. That is correct. Uncle is male. And the last one, wife. 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 Male. Yes, wife. It's female. Okay, and our last exercise is to complete this conversation. This is like a wrap up to finish the section. Para finalizar, tenemos esta conversación en la que tenemos que completarla usando eh, lo, el tema de la sección 5, que era el presente continuo. Eh, vamos a ir leyendo y a, a ver cómo vamos a completar. 
So we see the, the picture. It says, Tired, Don. Y tenemos una pregunta. Vemos acá abajo y nos damos cuenta que esto es una pregunta. Entonces, con, con, con el. ¿Está acá en. Sí. Do you study late night day? And he responds, no, I'm not. My brother and sister mm -hmm. with me. Is, mm -hmm. is staying. My staying. brother and sister is staying. Are, are staying. Are staying, ajá, porque está hablando de los dos. De los El dos. El hermano ah. y la hermana. Entonces, eso es. Are staying. Are staying. My brother and sister are staying with me right now. We go to bed after midnight every night. Really? What do this summer take class two? No, they aren't. My brother is on vacation now. But he is looking for a part-time job here. Mm -hmm. Pero nos falta la parte de arriba. What do this summer take classes to? No, they aren't. Do, do. What are you doing? What? Are you doing? Are doing. What are they doing? What are they doing? Uh huh. This summer. This summer. Y tenemos otra pregunta. Take classes to. Is. Are they take are 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 taking? Uh huh. Are. Are they taking? Are they taking? Classes to. Are they taking classes too? No, they aren't. My brother is on vacation now, but he is looking. He's looking. Uh, yes, he's looking. Yeah, but he's looking for a part-time job here. What about your sister? And we have another question with work. Is is working? Is she working? Yeah. Is she working? Uh -huh. Is she working? Yes, yeah, she is. She has a part-time job at the university. What about you, Joel? Are you in school this summer? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, I am studying. I am studying two languages. Oh. Um, um, I N A I I N A. I taking. Yes, I am taking French. Um, and Spanish again? No, but this is a question. Es una pregunta. Porque le dice, yes, I am. I am studying two languages. Estoy estudiando dos idiomas. Y luego tenemos French and Spanish again como pregunta. Sería, are you? Exacto, are you? Are... I should think. Are you taking? No, you taking. Well, I'm taking Spanish y, again. Y, yo tengo una pregunta, una pregunta. Uh -huh. Allí eh, en la penúltima respuesta que puso dice I am. No era una M allí. Sí, sí. 
I am. Thank you. Okay. Now the last one. Well, taking Spanish again, but I start I start in Japanese. Mm -hmm. I am starting in Japanese. Really? That's exciting. Okay, let's um let's practice the conversation. Let's repeat. You look tired, Don. Are you studying late at night these days? You look tired, Don. Are you studying late at night this day? No, I'm not. My brother and sister are staying with me right now. We go to bed after midnight every night. No, I'm not. My brother and sister, my brother are, staying. And sister are staying with right me right now. With, right now. with me right now. We go to bed after midnight. After midnight. Every night. night. Every night. Midnight every night. Midnight. Really? What are they doing this summer? Are they taking classes too? Really? What, what are, are they doing this summer? This summer. Are they taking classes too? No, they aren't. My brother is on vacation now, but he's looking for a part time job here. No, they are no, my are brother okay. is on vacation is now, now. But, he is, but he is looking for a part-time job here. 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 Uh -huh. For a part-time job here. For a part-time job here. What about your sister? Is she working? What about your sister? Is she working? Yes. Yeah, she is. She has a part time job at the university. What about you, Joel? Are you in school this summer? Yes, she is. She has a part time job at the yeah. university. How about you? What Joel? about you, John? Well, this John, summer? Are you in school this summer? I am. I am studying two languages. Yes, yes I am. I am, I am studying the two languages. Oh, are you taking French and Spanish again? Oh, are you taking are you French and Spanish again? French and Spanish again. Well, I'm taking Spanish again, but I'm starting Japanese. Well, I yes, take Spanish. I'm Spanish. 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 Japanese. Yes, I am starting Japanese. 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 Really? Japanese. That's exciting. Really? That's exciting. Like exciting. Okay. Thank you so much for joining today's section. Eh, como ya pues sabían, eh, ahora era la última sección del módulo. Así que pues han finalizado y pues nada más felicitarlos y esperando que sigan adelante. Gracias. 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 Pues, eh, eh, gracias. Muy amable. Muy satisfecho con, con su ayuda. Realmente. Qué bueno, me alegra mucho, me alegra verlos. Es, cuídense mucho y sigan adelante. Gracias. gracias Disfruten su tarde. Gracias, igual. Igual.